uh, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm listed on YZAN as a Spanish tutor, but actually I'm also um, a musician and um, have bachelor's and master's degrees in music. And one of the things I've taught a lot is um, music history and particularly um, music of spirituals and um, and on the evolution of that. So it's actually a topic that interests me a lot um, after spending many years as a church musician. Um, so regarding Southern gospel, I'm not sure what you mean by that genre. Um, if you mean um, the, the Southern gospel, like um, the what we know kind of as white gospel, um, that those kind of songs often evolved from um, kind of in, in the same style as uh, popular folk songs, let's say. Um, and whereas spirituals were actually the songs of the slaves. And uh, th to me, uh, I'd like to focus on the spirituals today. Um, the spirituals evolved actually from Africa. So remember that, um, that um, Americans brought over slaves um, on the ships and um, music was very important in the African culture, particularly things like call and response. They're very communal and so wasn't unusual for a chief of a tribe, let's say, or the head of a family to, to do the call and then everybody else would answer. So that's part of their community, part of their um, culture, and that impacted the music too. So a lot of times you have like call and response. So in other words, sometimes in the song you might have an echo type of thing. Um, and then it's, in terms of the melodies, for example, it's said that Amazing Grace, you know, it's attributed to John Newton who had been a slave, trip, uh, slave ship um, trader, but... Um, he he did when he had he had a conversion personal conversion he composed the words to amazing grace but it is believed that the melody actually was something that he heard on the ship and why does this make sense well there's a uh, i don't know if you're familiar with what's called the pentatonic melody but a pentatonic melody is if you take a basic scale like a major scale it has um the tones one, two, three, and five and six. So no fourth degree of the scale and no seventh degree of the scale. For example, so in the key of C, you would have one, two, three, I'm sorry, C, D, E, and then you'd have G and A, and of course the higher C as well. Also, if you use only the black keys on a piano, um, you, you get a pentatonic melody also. So for example, um, swing low, sweet chariot, Amazing Grace, and there's others that are solely, they're exclusively use those five tones. And so that we call those pentatonic melodies. So the spirituals actually were the work songs um, of the slaves. So they brought over melodies with them. They also used, um, used their songs for two things. One was, um, I think, to uh, enliven their work to, to give them a sense of rhythm as they were working. Um, and also, um, what's fascinating is they adopted the Christian faith of their slave owners. So that's why the spirituals have Christian lyrics to them because they learned Bible stories from their slave owners. And they identified with the whole idea of slave slavery that was in the Bible, like the Israelites were slaves and and the persecution of Jesus Christ and so forth, because they knew what that felt like. And so they really related to it. And so, so not only did they compose many of these free flowing spirituals, but they also then used them as secret code to communicate. So when they were out on the field and they'd be singing about crossing over the river Jordan, they were actually making some kind of communication plan to escape to the North like crossing the, I don't know, Ohio River or something like that. So it's, I mean, it's just fascinating that um, it was it was a genre that evolved as a, as a means of communication um, among the slaves. And so it's a great body. And the other thing I wanted to point out was that once the slaves were freed after Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, once they were freed, um, they, they, they went out to the cities and some people stayed in the church, which why we have a body of spirituals and other p 
people went into bars and clubs and that's where the genre of um, the blues was born. So it's like the spirituals are the, is like the grandparent of what we know today as blues and then which became jazz. So just really interesting about the impact uh, of the spirituals on modern music. So um, you enjoy it. And if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Take care. Bye. Thank you.